What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon out there at the Earthmaster here on this Monday, uh, February 21st, 2022. It is President's Day, about 10.34 a.m. California time, and the latest quake, a 2.9 earthquake on the Earthquake 3D globe way up here around the northern Alaska region. Looks like northwest of Fairbanks. Uh, let's go ahead and get right back into the details of what's going on out here along these plate boundaries we're seeing a major push in activity over here to the west i'm talking about all the way down from the curl kamchaka trench uh, through the new zealand area uh, the western part of the pacific ring of fire is just basically uh on a quite in a move today haven't seen this type of activity in quite some time it's been quite a while um, that can only probably be pointing to one thing and possibly a, a pretty large earthquake in the region we got to watch this area up here really closely this area has been all too quiet and we're just starting to see um, some movement up here along the Kuril Kamchaka Trench most of it is deep into the subduction zone which is further putting strain up here along the locked areas of this region 4.6 at a uh, 4.5 up in the north part here at 110 kilometers and some further activity all deep movement here along the subduction zone of the Kuril Kamchaka Trench into the Japan region of course in this area we've seen a little bit of swarming activity as well over the past couple days uh, and some further activity over here along the western part of the Philippine plate into the trench region here some deep movement we're talking deep around the uh, looks like Toba Japan area you can see it uh, doesn't take no rocket scientist to point out the large-scale push of activity here along the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire uh, pushing all the deeper movement over here to the west uh, so something got to watch these area uh, this area pretty closely here uh, and not to mention the uh, Mariana Trench seeing quite a bit of movement up here as well down here I should say uh, at the southern part around the Guam area uh, some deeper movement here 5.0 at 101.8 kilometers and a little bit more shallow feature earthquake up here at uh, 10 kilometers for a 5.1 uh, philippines area uh, definitely seeing some ramping up of movement as well just outside of the manila area 5.3 some deep movement as well in that region it's just deep movement activity all over the place and it's lined up and down uh, the Pacific Plate and areas to the west uh, where we expect to see further movement. Uh, also, Indonesia getting in on a pretty good swarm of activity here with seven earthquakes. Pretty large ones as well. Seen a, a 5.8 come in earlier uh, with quite a few other fives and fours. I uh, can't say this is all that's going to happen down here because it's uh, definitely a, a pretty good cluster of quakes. or nice swarming going on there in this area of the Indonesia region and down through Papua New Guinea Solomon Islands area some activity ramping up as well quite a few fives I don't recall the last time I've seen this many fives on the map just a bunch of them uh, and they're all pretty much um, scattered out up and down the entire western part of the Pacific plate and of course areas westward there where we expect the movement general pressure of the movement there to be in the western part of the um, of the region Another earthquake coming in there to Fiji within the last hour. It looks like pretty recent. 4.9. Look at that continued deep movement here. I expect uh, that to really ramp up as we're seeing that. Uh, 542 kilometers for that 4.9. That's a pretty significant deep earthquake. Yeah, and some further deep earthquake around the volcanoes here uh, just to the west of the uh, Tonga region. Uh, a couple fours at 358 kilometers and 449 kilometers. That's something brewing folks there's some major activity getting ready to ramp up i i just have a strange feeling here uh let's see new zealand further down this area has seen some deep activity as well yesterday a 4.5 into the hikarangi subduction zone at 186 kilometers down there just uh wow crazy deep activity uh new zealand earlier today as well a 5.2 uh, north, well north of the Christchurch uh, Christchurch area. Uh, I'm not for sure how you pronounce this. Blenheim. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, 5.2 there at 30 kilometers. 
below there just at the southern end of the Hikurangi subduction zone and uh, things just active very active here along the western part of the Pacific Plate uh, prior to all this large-scale movement we did see a little bit of activity kick up here in the California West Coast region but uh, it seems like things are about ready to let go over here along the west as we're starting to see that uh, uh, continued movement. Uh, another place that has been swarming, seeing a lot of activity here, is the Alaska region. Uh, let's go over here to the all magnitudes. Seeing a pretty good amount of activity kick up last night. I believe we had more earthquakes than this, unless they just uh, consolidated and, and put it into one earthquake. But we're watching a swarm of movement here in the upper 4 and lower 5 range. Now today I'm only seeing a 5.1. Uh, this area did see uh, some activity earlier this week or earlier last week. Kind of want to go back the last 7 days or so and look at this uh, general movement here that we've been watching over the last week. You can see that trail of yellow circles there indicating uh, older earthquake activity but definitely earthquake activity nonetheless and there was quite a bit here along the Aleutian Trench we're still missing out on a couple regions here of lack of activity and uh, those could be the potential spots that we need to watch for further large-scale movement uh, even though we're seeing activity over here along the Japan Trench and the Kurokamchaka Trench it is not around the area where we would expect to see the uh, the larger scale movement kind of up where the uh, subduction zone extends or it subducts there into the plate boundary it's uh, we just haven't we haven't seen it and it's just building up it's definitely building up there with all that further deep activity uh, 30 days let's go back to the last 30 days I don't think we have to go all magnitudes let's go 2.5 and uh, I think we did see what did we didn't we see a pretty large earthquake here in this area where we're seeing that movement today I think we've seen a, I guess where we've seen a six point, maybe we didn't. Let's see here. Let's go 4.5 and above. I know one of these areas had a, uh, a six pointer. What am I missing? Where'd it go? I could have swore it was right here. Hmm, alrighty, that's a little on the odd side. Maybe it's been over 30 days now. Uh, but either way, definitely activity ramping up throughout the Alaska region last night and today. Uh, further activity up north, northwest of Fairbanks with a 2.9. Uh, west Coast, as I mentioned, it did kick up a little bit last night. We've seen uh, uh, a couple earthquakes back-to-back -back um, kick off one right after another one over here along the San Andreas Fault it was a 3.6 and then uh, just like one minute prior you can see the timestamps here uh, actually yeah so we had a 3.5 in Nevada first at 0506 uh, and then one minute later a 3.6 on the San Andreas Fault just goes to show you the regional view of the pressure dynamics here along any plate boundary how uh, um, you know pressure can rapidly increase in the region and the west coast was kind of getting up there on the on the uh, pressure scale until this area al along the pacific ring of fire kind of took over and uh, started to pr provide a little bit of relief over here along the west coast with all the large scale deep movement and uh, just see general activity over here it's lighting up like crazy let me tell you so west coast quiet uh, for now, we're not seeing a whole lot of activity within the last hour. Uh, one earthquake down here along the Elsinore Fault System, it looks like, just off of there with a... Uh, actually, it's right around the Palomar Observatory. Kind of odd. That area's been uh, uh, awfully quiet for a while. Now we're starting to... At least one earthquake there, 1.5, uh, near the Palomar Mountain. Uh, movement here, mostly from yesterday. Not a whole lot, like I mentioned, from today. Wow, look at this activity in Ridgecrest disappearing before our eyes. The eastern part of Sierra Nevada, pretty quiet as well. Uh, aside from that one 3.6 uh, yesterday, or I should say last night, when the, uh, we had that sequence of quakes there at San Andreas Fault, and then this one, there's not a whole lot going on there. 
Like I said, the West Coast is awfully quiet now, uh, and that's due to the, the amount of earthquakes and deep subsequent activity over there along the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Uh, an area that's not uh, too quiet today, of course, is the Geyser area uh, south of Clear Lake around the Cobb Mountain area. Uh, getting in on quite a bit of uh, hydrothermal uh, operation earthquakes. This earthquake here is from uh, yesterday, 2.3. Pretty shallow earthquake. At uh, Actually, this one like, kind of looks like it was this morning here. Let me see the uh, uh, time stamp on that. Uh, 0939. Yeah, so earlier this morning, way earlier this morning, that earthquake popped off. Uh, Pacific Northwest pretty quiet uh, one little earthquake up there around Mount Rainier and uh, Idaho and the Montana region that's from yesterday I'm 100% certain of that uh, Texas did see some activity that earthquake down south here along the border from last night nothing significant and uh, one little earthquake around the Tennessee region near the Garland area 20.1 kilometers for a 2.4 Puerto Rico, uh, most of this activity from yesterday as well. We haven't seen a whole lot of movement today. Uh, a couple small microquakes, including a 3.2 uh, around the Puerto Rico Trench at 19.3 kilometers. South America uh, from yesterday as well. Just uh, like I say, the main push of movement is about the Aleutian Trench westward all up and down this area. Um, I would... I strongly think that we're going to see some further large-scale movement around the area of China and potentially over here around the Java Sea or Java Trench. Java Sea included there, but uh, this area has been awfully quiet when it comes to producing large earthquakes, and that's a high accumulated area of stress in that zone. Uh, so we got to watch watch this area. area. It's kind of like a large arrow when we see these uh, dynamic pushes here it's a good indicator of something something i'm brewing in the large scale department and we got to watch this area pretty closely folks a little bit of activity is happening up here around the afghanistan region some deep pushes of uh movement 4.0 and a 4.2 at uh between 177 and 200 kilometers deep pretty deep activity in that region uh, over here Around Turkey, some shallow earthquake activity with a 4.4. That earthquake happening last night. So uh, quiet zones. Got to be on alert today for uh, possible large-scale movement with that rapid onset of deep and a large-scale activity along the Pacific Ring of Fire on the western part. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the EMSC verifying that, uh, that movement. Even these guys are showing all that massive amount of pressure. There's a, uh, what's that, 5.1. Is that the USGS report in that one? Looks like there may have been another quake here. Look at the timestamp. Last one here was 1656. Uh, these guys are showing, yeah, another 5.1 coming into that uh, area of the Indonesia region. USGS not picking up on that. But still a uh, uh, a definite telltale sign of uh, that uh, westward push of movement. There's a Fiji quake. USGS, I could say, they're getting a little on the slow side recently. It is it is a holiday, right? So it could be possible they're uh, just uh, well not getting to it. <laughs> we'll throw out the facts there. Uh, looking at their three movement here along the Middle America Trench some activity earlier this morning but most of that's from yesterday and the activity down here uh, looks like we had a little bit this morning some threes kicking off there in the south america region but uh, nothing like what we're seeing over here to the west folks definitely got to be on guard today uh, something brewing like i say we watch these maps every day quite a few times a day and uh, it's been quite a while since we've seen a push of, of uh, earthquake activity and especially up here in this region with further deep movement only adding to the stress there. Yellowstone National Park, super volcano, right? It's pretty quiet in terms of any eruptive uh, stages. Just some microquakes here along the Yellowstone 
or the uh, yeah Lake Yellowstone region. Some some small quakes, very small microquakes kicking up there over the last couple hours. That activity uh, subsequently showing up on uh, somewhat uh, localized uh, other seismograph stations there. So verifying the quake activity in that region. Nothing significant at all though. Uh, Earthquakes Canada, I'm sure, is uh, pretty quiet except for one earthquake way up here. And the Yukon region looks like uh, 3.3 kicking off here uh, earlier, a few hours ago this morning. And the Kino, is that right? Kino? It looks like Kino. Yukon Territory region up north. Otherwise, the rest of Canada pretty quiet along the northern end of the Cascadia. Uh, speaking of that, tremor activity has returned to the quiet spell, and uh, that's how it is. It's been that way for quite a while. Every every once in a while, we get one or two days where we pop up a uh, hundred or so tremors, and uh, just kind of eerily quiet along the Cascadia. Pretty lengthy spell of very quiet conditions here along the west coast when it comes to the Cascadia. Uh, checking out the national data buoy system out here kind of like to monitor the activity this station out here is still in event mode that kicked up late last night from some I don't know if it's a technical interference or not but uh, some type of of uh, spike like a dip if you will very small spike but it triggered this uh, station out here in the Pacific and they still haven't reset it not for sure why but uh, it was some type of uh, error, looks like, or some type of uh, abnormal water column height that triggered that station. But it's still in event mode, as you can see, hasn't been reset. All the other stations look pretty calm for now. But uh, yeah, definitely something to watch here today, folks. I'm going to be watching this live stream uh, uh, pretty much all day here and keep an eye on things. Solar weather. Let's jump into that and check out the latest uh, events here on the sun. There's not a whole lot going on. Uh, looks like a potential for 60% chance of a sea flare. Uh, and these sunspots, kind of curious to see what's around the bend with this sunspot right here. It is, uh, which forgot the number on it, 2954 it looks like. As it rounds the bend here, it could be producing some uh, further flaring threat as it rotates into the Earth view. All these other Earth side uh, flares are pretty wimpy wimpy when it comes to producing any type of uh, events at all for that matter. So uh, yeah, sun's a little on the quiet side. All right, folks, we're gonna jump off here. Again, just be on alert, pay, uh, pay close attention today to what's going on out here in the world and uh, we'll keep an eye on the activity as well so have a good morning folks we'll be back a little bit later on this evening with a complete update video unless something major happens we try to uh, do update videos when it comes to 6.0 and above i do have a live seismograph stations there monitoring the activity across the board when it comes to uh, activity over there along the western pacific ring of fire so stay good stay safe and we will chat you guys a little bit later on. Peace out.